Chromebooks are getting better and better. Mm -hmm. Do you use, now this is your Chromebook Pixel. I have yes. one at home too. Do you use this as your day-to-day -day computer? I see it on the set. Yeah, you know, that's a complicated question because I actually leave it here. So I use it for it's all It's your work the, computer. Uh, it's my work computer. Yeah. And I, I do all my shows uh, using the Chromebook Pixel. Ron Richards on All About Android uh, thinks I'm crazy. Um, but I'm used to it. Like, you know, it, I, I won't lie. It took a little bit of kind of getting used to. But now it's, it's my preferred device for running a show here. I'm going to make it even better. All right. Because, and this was a personal quest, you know, I really love this computer, but I felt a little limited by Chrome OS. It's just the Chrome browser, and mm -hmm. you can only do things that are Chrome extensions. Sure. And uh, to, in my mind, I said, you know, the only thing missing, if I could get a Linux command <laughs> prompt on here, and I could use all the Linux stuff that I like, you know, just as an additional sideline, I'd, I'd feel pretty good about this. Now, early on with the Chromebook, a guy named David Schneider, who's a hardware engineer at Google, created a, a project called Crouton. It's a free open source project, and I tried it. I felt it was a little bit funky, and I hadn't mm -hmm. tried it recently until people said to me, Leah, why would you go put Linux, as I did, by the way. You can, and I did wipe off my Chromebook and, and put Linux on it. They, but they said, why would you do that when you can get the benefits of Chrome OS and still have Linux on here. <laughs> and so I said, all right, well, I'm going to check out Crouton again. It's C-R-O-U-T-O-N. It stands for the Chromium OS Universal Chroot Environment. <laughs> and chroot, the Unix command chroot, is really the key. This was created by Bill Joy in the early 90s as a way to run an operating system within an, an operating system, not as a virtualization, but really just kind of as an operating system running underneath another operating system. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to use chroot to actually put Linux, and now admittedly, there's not a huge hard drive in most Chromebooks, but the nice thing about Linux, it's fairly compact, just a few gigabytes, and uh, you can use it in conjunction with Chrome very easily. So this is how you're going to do it. First of all, you're going to put your Chromebook in developer mode. On the Pixel, you press escape, refresh, and the power. You'll get a reboot screen that looks kind of scary that says, oh, you want to, and you do command D when you hit that. It says, oh, no, you want to go in developer mode, and they warn you. You are reducing the security somewhat when you go into developer mode. And one of the reasons I love Chromebooks is how secure they are. They have secure boot. Mm -hmm. You can't modify a Chromebook at all. Um, so that's why you have to put it in developer mode to do this. However, there are ways to make your CH root more secure. And, uh, I, you know, the advantages of having a flexible system uh, kind of maybe outweigh the security issue. You'll have to decide for yourself. The beauty part of this is all the things I've done to your Chromebook Pixel here can be wiped out with a power wash. So okay. as soon as we're done with this, I'm just going to reboot it, get out of developer mode. It'll, it'll wipe everything off. Developer mode does wipe everything off. It'll wipe everything off again. You'll log in, and it'll be back the way it was. Yeah. No harm, no foul. Mm -hmm. That's Chrome OS great is good reason. like that. So you're going to download. What, what, what I did find, first of all, is there is a command line in, uh, in, in every Chromebook, you press Control Alt and T, and that brings you to something called Croche, which is the Chrome OS developer shell. Let's make the text a little bit bigger so you can read it. If you got here by mistake, don't panic. Just close this tab and carry on. <laughs> this is a tab within Chrome. And once you're in developer mode, you can then exit out by using the shell command, and you're going to actually get a root command at the shell. Now I'm running uh, a, a sign of a sort of a shell. There's some commands you have, and in fact, you can see you can see the operating mm -hmm. system. This is one of the dirty little secrets. Maybe not dirty. Maybe the happy shiny little secrets of Chrome OS is it's Linux. It's just a modified Linux running Chrome on top of it. It's the Chromium project. Um, but we can get into the Linux and install using chroot another full Linux. And I've taken the liberty of putting Debian on here using Crouton. So let me let me go backwards a few steps through the command line. The first thing you're going to do is download Crouton, and you're going to get it from David's uh, um, GitHub page on Crouton. If you just Google Crouton, you'll find it immediately. It'll be the first link. Google, by the way, approves of this. It's okay. You're mm -hmm. allowed to do it. It's your hardware. And there are a lot of ways you can do it. Now, in the f early days, it was Ubuntu, and it was XFCE, and that was the very simple way of doing this on a Chromebook. And as time has gone by, uh, people have contributed to the Crouton project, and now you can install a larger variety of distributions. In fact, we can see which distributions if we go back uh, to our shell, and we list, I'll do dash F, which is the, the different, uh, whoops, 
Oh, let's do. Uh, I thought that was it. Uh, maybe dash. Oh, first of all, we can show you the different commands. There's quite a few commands that you have available, including if you want to have a uh, a, uh, uh, a a GNOME desktop or a command line only desktop. I actually just put the command line on here, but if you mm. if you don't mind, you can install a full desktop, and now it's GNOME as well as XFCE and even Unity, the Ubuntu desktop. You can also see what distributions you can have on there. What is, I thought XBMC. it was... XBMC. Uh, yeah, XBMC mm -hmm. can, can go on there. I guess, uh, I'm not sure why I'm not seeing that. But among other distributions, there is Ubuntu, but there's also uh, Debian. Once you download Crouton, you can then run it in such a way that you're going to... In this case, I downloaded Jesse, which is the, the uh, kind of stable version of Debian. This is the one I like. And you can install it with GNOME on here. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. You can install it with GNOME on here. You can install utilities and stuff. And once, I, once I've installed that, and it does, I'm not going to do it in uh, real time, you'll follow the very simple uh, explanation David has on his GitHub. Once you've done that, you've actually got an uh, uh, entire Debian distribution on here, or Ubuntu, or whatever you install. You enter the cheroot using this command, and uh, I did one other thing which I recommend you do, which is encrypt it. That way, it's as secure as a pretty standard Linux. And I'm actually now in Linux here, and so I can run Linux commands, I can uh, download, you've got apt-get as, uh, as one of your uh, commands, because I'm using Debian, and I can install Emacs if I want. Um, um, and I can even run a, an X window. Mm -hmm. There's an extension that allows me to not only run this in a tab, but to run this in a, 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 a browser tab, individual uh, uh, Linux applications. So there are people using this as a digital audio workstation. I mentioned that because oh, yeah, I know right. you're a musician. You yep. can actually run all the Linux tools, and there's some very good Linux sound tools in here. You could run, of course, uh, OpenOffice. Um, uh, you can even play Minecraft on here. I know a lot of kids get Chromebooks for school using Crouton and installing a Linux, you could actually run uh, Minecraft on your... And we're still, by the way, we're still... Uh, I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to quit that. But we're still here in a standard Chrome OS environment. We haven't so given that up. you're not dual booting or anything? You're not dual booting, you and that's the beauty of it. Like it's that. just running underneath... That is nice. Yeah. It's always nice to have the option for something like that. It, I don't personally, in, in my day-to-day, you, -day, you know, yeah. like, I think the closest I get to Linux is when I, you know, do ADB commands, you know, on Android or, or something along those lines, you know, as far as working with the, um, with the line there. But, uh, so I don't, I don't know when I would need to, to hop in there. I'm curious to know what you do with Linux on um, Chrome. I, Chrome you Chrome. know, there's a lot of, uh, for instance, I like to use uh, Emacs, of all things, mm -hmm. and there are a lot of tools that I like to use. One of the distributions you could put on here is Kali, which is a pen testing slash hacker distribution of Linux that has all, has all the pen test uh, applications you'd like to do penetration testing mm -hmm. on the network. So having a Chromebook that's running Chrome OS in a nice secure environment that's simple and easy to use, but then you open a shell and suddenly you're running Kali Linux and able to do the pen testing you want to do, mm -hmm. that really makes this incredibly useful. And the best part is Chromebooks are inexpensive. Now this one's a thousand dollar Chromebook. Yeah. But you can get them for 300 bucks. Acer, mm -hmm. Dell, HP all have nice high quality Chromebooks for under $500, and when you put get one with more storage, because you'd like to have 64 gigs, so you have room for your Linux distribution. Oh, that's one other thing is you can have many cheroots. So you could have a command line, you could have GNOME, you could have XS, XFCE. As long as you've got enough hard drive space, you can have as many different uh, versions of the operating system on there and load which one you want hmm. at any given time. And that's pretty impressive as well. That's They're nice. easy to create, easy to just delete, and if you just get tired of it, you can power wash it out. I, I think Linux is a great thing to know. I think if you're somebody who wants to do programming, Python, Rust, C, whatever it is you like to do, having a, that on your laptop is important. It's one of the things you can't really do very well with Chrome OS. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Now you can do it, and you have all of that power on here. So take a look at Crouton. I have to say I had dismissed it after using it early on a couple of years ago when the Chromebooks first came out. Uh, but in the intervening time, it's gotten more and more powerful. Um, you can back up your installation. That's what I do to a remote server so that I can always get back to it. Uh, I could power wash this and be up and running again 
in just a, a few minutes is the amount of time it takes to download yeah, it. Yeah, it doesn't uh, take long. Pretty nice, pretty nice. So I'm going nice. to power wash this off again so that you don't have to put up with this. All you have to do is reboot and not go into developer mode. You'll be back to the way you were. But I encourage people to take a look at oh, it. It's a simple nice. and easy thing to do.